This is clearly not the America we grew up in, even 20 years ago. Imagine if John Winthrop returned to America and saw what the city on the hill had become. A house at war with its own foundation. John Winthrop quoted Messiah to call America a city on a hill. Abraham Lincoln quoted Messiah to give a warning. He said, a house divided against itself shall not stand. The reason I began writing books with the first book, with, with the message that I shared here first, was because I saw the same patterns and signs and warnings, harbingers that appeared in the last days of Israel now appearing on American soil. And everything that's happened since, I mean, the fault, the, not just the signs, but America itself, that's all following the same pattern of judgment. I was recently led during the lockdown to write the sequel to The Harbinger because I, was, I had a strong sense when I prayed that this was going to be, 2020 was going to be a year of great shaking. And so I, I wrote it, and so I haven't talked about it much because it all happened during the lockdown, but there's so much in that, The Harbinger 2, that I cannot get into now, but I want to mention just two things. Concerning, and it's not something that's, there are, there are things that are happening right now, prophetic, but something from a little while ago, but it relates to what I just said, what we just opened up. I spoke of the prophetic warning embedded by John Winthrop in Massachusetts Bay. And that he got his warning, his words, his promise and the warning from Moses, from Deuteronomy, specifically from Deuteronomy 28 that says, if you, are you follow God, here are the blessings. You turn away, here's what's going to happen to the nation. Comes a warning. Now, now, one of the patterns of biblical judgment, national judgment, is that years before the actual judgment of the nation, there comes a shaking, a wake-up call. It comes in the form of an enemy strike that comes, shakes the land. God has called the, the land back, and then they are given a, a, a space of years, however long, to come back to God. Now, it happened, America got its shaking on 9-11. Same pattern, same thing. Now, every Sabbath day, every once a week, there is an appointed word in all the synagogues of the world where they open up the scrolls and there's a word appointed from ages past that is appointed for that day, that week. And in America, there are many Jewish people and New York City has more Jewish people than anywhere else. So all over New York City, they were opening up to this. The days that were leading up to 9-11, just before 9-11, they opened up the scrolls. There was a word appointed from ancient time, from ages past two for that time that led into 9-11. What was it? It was the word of Moses from Deuteronomy, from Deuteronomy 28. The exact, exact source that John Winthrop gave to warn America, do not turn away from God. What does it say? It was appointed for the day that led into the 9-11. It tells of what happens if you turn away from God. All the blessings you had, you're going to lose them, number one. But it says specifically, an enemy will come from a faraway land and strike the nation in its gate. America's gate is New York City. It says he will speak a language you don't understand. He will be of fierce countenance. He will show no compassion to the old or the young. A rain of dust will come upon you in the middle of the day. You'll grope like blind men. The enemy will strike you as an eagle flying from the sky. The Hebrew word specifically says an eagle swooping down. Every single plane came like that. On 9-11, the enemy came as an eagle swooping on the land. Everyone. And, they, they was, and, and on the very plane that began 9-11, it was carrying a symbol. And the symbol was an image of an eagle swooping down. The same biblical sign of judgment that came from the same scripture that was appointed to usher in 9-11 and from which John Winthrop gave the warning. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn and I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.